I'm in Monte Carlo and I'm gonna try to eat vegan here with zero preparation. I'm just embarrassed because my French is awful and my Italian is awful and my English is only okay. That was one of the best airplane meals I've ever had. My life doesn't make sense sometimes. On this channel, I typically focus on things like whole food, plant-based, and vegan. But today, I'm going on a trip to Monaco. In my other life, I am a filmmaker. And so I'm going to screen my new film, Daniel's Gotta Die, at the Monte Carlo Comedy Film Festival. For all I knew, Daniel's totally fine. I'm literally only going there for about 48 hours, not including travel. So it's a crazy short trip, but how do you say no to a free trip to Monaco? I haven't planned well, cause this is sort of a last minute trip. So I'm gonna be winging it as a vegan and hoping for the best with all the airports I'm going to, the places I'm going to. I told the festival coordinators that I'm vegan. This could be a giant shit show. I could end up starving the entire trip. But I did bring a few things, not much. I brought like a couple little oat bars to sustain me when times get tough. And I'm hoping I can just find other things along the way. Otherwise, you know, human beings can survive with no food for a week or so, right? As long as I have water. So what you're gonna see in this video is you're gonna see me traveling. You're gonna see me trying to eat in airports, find food on the fly, see what kind of things the festival provides. Hopefully this is interesting and entertaining for you. I'll try to throw in some travel tips along the way. Number one is plan ahead, which I have not done for this trip. So that's gonna be fun. Got through security with uh, three hours to spare because I got here at a good time. Uh, options aren't terrible. There's a booster juice. There's like a smash burger place. There's a, a burrito place. I'm questionable about what their options were. And there's a bunch of little places that can do like a bowl or a salad, but most of them have dairy built in, either in their sauces or toppings. So there's options. I'm leaning towards a burrito or a burger for fun. But also maybe, maybe I'm gonna get myself a booster juice also for fun. So I decided to get a burrito. Of course, they were out of uh, the only vegan option they had, which was glazed yams. So I went over to get a smash burger, only to find out that their black bean burger is not vegan. They have egg in it. Why would you make a black bean burger vegan? That's insane. You'd be able to sell it to more people. I mean, free tip smash burger flax seeds, chia seeds, a lot of other things. There's so many things you can use as a binder instead of egg, and you'll sell it to more customers. So I ended up with Booster Juice, and I just decided to get their Asaya smoothie bowl and a little uh, ball thing. Of course, they didn't have fresh bananas that are advertised to be on it, but they gave me a little cup of frozen bananas. So that was lovely. That's nice. I think I'd like it to be a bit thicker. It's very smoothie-esque. The girl has a nice crunch. Let's try the ball. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Pretty light, simple dinner. Nothing too impressive coming out of Toronto. So Toronto Pearson Terminal 3, maybe get your act together and get some better vegan options, because this is sad. I'm not sure if I have food on my flight or not. They selected a meal option for a vegan meal, but it's also in the middle of the night. My flight's from 8 a.m. and I land at 4 a.m. our time, which is like 10 a.m. their time, so maybe they'll serve us a breakfast. I'd be curious to see what a vegan breakfast looks like on this air flight. Vegetables with tomato sauce on them, some potatoes, and a little fruit cup. So it's kind of perfect for a I think it was like around eight o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night that they gave it to me. This is my first time going to France and I have a layover in Frankfurt, which is gonna be cool too, because I've never been to that part of the world. The one bit of research I did do is they have what looks like a very plant-based, vegan-friendly cafe type thing called Natto. Whew, 
I raced through the airport and I, I just out of the corner of my eye saw that place that I wanted to try, which is Natu. It was packed with lots of great options. I didn't have time to really look through, so I just grabbed the fastest thing I could see that fit the time of day I'm in, which is like middle of the night for me, but 10 a.m. there, so I just grabbed this like, they call it layover night oats, which is cute. So it's like a really small breakfast bowl and I got a grape cup. A grape cup to go with it. I don't even want to know what it cost. I just got it because this is my food. I have a guy named Luigi picking me up. Luigi? Hello. Yes. Exactly. Hey, Jeremy. Yes. Can I help you? He's going to drive me around. So everything closes down in the afternoon, food wise, and there's probably limited vegan options anyway. So I'm having a very fancy um, hotel room coffee. Yeah, I think it's a hotel room coffee. And oat bar. Hmm. I found a gelato place on Happy Cow that has vegan sorbet. So I'm gonna pop over there before going down to check in with the festival and see what's what. This gelato is delicious. Uh, I had to buy these two, which I'll take home to my kids. Pretty sure they're not vegan because there is a, a limit or maximum. I'm so tired, I can't even think of which one it is. Uh, minimum spend to use your credit card. And I didn't bring any cash because I'm a fool. All right, off to explore. My stomach's still confused. So I came back to the hotel and the only thing they have on the snack menu are chickpea fries. Look at these things. Didn't come with any ketchup or sauce or anything. Ooh. These are nice, crazy overpriced. That was eight pounds, which is like 12 bucks. It's a free trip. It's a free trip. Gonna enjoy it. These are actually really, really tasty. Much, much, much later. So I just finished a very delicious dinner. The festival had a multi-course meal, and they made me a completely vegan selection, which was lovely. It was this delicious salad, and the dressing was made of chickpeas and an olive oil. They had this delicious balsamic vinegar that I used with the bread. Beautiful. And for dinner, they had this like silken tofu that was crispy on the ends that had this delicious flavor. I'm trying to remember what it was off the top of my head. It was creamy and I don't even know. It was delicious. And then for dessert, it was just fruit, but they put it into this amazing little flower-like type thing. It's 11.30 at night which is really 5.30 for me, and I haven't slept since yesterday, so I'm tired. And I'm not used to eating this late and then going to bed, so we'll see how my stomach is in the morning. And I'm gonna have breakfast at the hotel, and then go from there. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Look at this view, this is bonkers. My life doesn't make sense sometimes. Night. The next morning. So the breakfast buffet was pretty good. Lots of nice selections. I assumed the baked beans didn't have any meat, juicy stuff in them. They tasted pretty clean that way. The falafels were dry, but good. That juice, it was like carrot, apple, orange. Very, very delicious. The oatmeal was basically at the bottom of the barrel, but still good, it was cold though. Um, and I grabbed some fruit for later. For walking around. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with my day. I have to do a little bit of festival stuff. They have a press conference, so I probably won't be able to shoot that because that would be weird for me to do by myself. So sorry. Insert images of fancy press conferences here and imagine I'm at one of them. I'm just embarrassed because my French is awful and my Italian is awful and my English is only okay. 
I found a place on Happy Cow called the Casino Supermarché, which is apparently the best vegan option inside Monaco, which I think is a little a little sad because it's a grocery store. But maybe that's just what I'll do for lunch is just have like a little snacky lunch. We got my fruit. I'll just pick up some stuff and I'll just kind of baja around. Don't worry, I'm gonna be okay, everyone. I'm gonna figure it out. I have oat bars in case I'm starving. I was craving pasta, so I went and got this lunch at this place called El. Oh, I've already forgotten the name of it. Uh, here's an image of the outside. Welcome to the cutest bathroom. Look how colorful and bright it is. This is the cutest bathroom. I don't know where to look. It's weird. I look up there. Does that look right? Hi. Ooh. <laughs> Very oily. Yeah. The vegetables were really nicely cooked and seasoned, but a little oily. But you know, I'm in the Mediterranean. The pasta sauce has a delicious flavor, but very al dente. But uh, delicious. I totally forgot I was supposed to have lunch with uh, the film people and the jury. So I'm gonna bust my boat over there and maybe just have a coffee with them. And, uh, and check that out. But now I'm gonna just kind of walk around old Monaco for a bit and just kind of check it out. This is a crazy beautiful city. Canada doesn't have anything like this just in terms of the old buildings. And it's just everything's curved from the roads to the buildings. It's, uh, you know, beautiful. So the uh, Casino Supermarché was not as impressive as I was hoping for. I couldn't find the Buddha bowls or the things they mentioned on Happy Cow. But there was definitely a fair amount of groceries and things you could pick up there. They had like a quinoa salad in the fridge and so maybe it wasn't that, I just missed it. But they had lots of fruit and whatnot so I just grabbed something to snack on for the walk and then I'll probably have another oat bar for our screening tonight, but tonight we screen my movie. They're having a dinner after at this gorgeous place called Avenue 31. And just like all the other places they brought me, the chefs made a special thing for me that I could eat. They didn't have any dairy in it, any animal products, which was such a beautiful, lovely thing. So for an appetizer, they made this French bean salad with some avocado and this lovely light dressing and some spinach. And it was really simple, but beautiful and not overly oily, which is nice. And then for dinner, they made this gorgeous risotto, which is not much to look at. It's just, it looks like vegetables and rice, but the, the, the sauce, whatever it was that was plant-based was just delicious. And I got a nice little fruit plate for dessert. Not quite as pretty as the one from the night before, but gorgeous nonetheless. The next day. So now I'm just getting ready to head home for my flight. Um, having the same breakfast as I had yesterday at the hotel. It's really simple and lovely. I'm gonna load up on hopefully just like a big bowl of oatmeal and some other things. And then I'm off to uh, the airport. And I'm gonna stop again in Frankfurt on the way home. And now I'm gonna have a longer layover. So hopefully I'm gonna spend more time at Nato and be able to really check out that little place inside that airport, which is full of plant-based stuff. So I'm really excited for that. So I ended up getting this holiday Asia bowl. They have a whole bunch of different options. I got this chocolate bun too. 
I'm not super hungry just yet, so I will have a little bit of this chocolate bun just to let you know how it tastes. Not bad, a little dry. And I say both leaves for a little bit later. It's still early. And I gotta figure out where the hell my flight is because it hasn't been posted yet. I'll let you know what I think of this bowl later. Later. So this bowl, it's pretty good so far. The tofu has is smoked. Really, really delicious and tasty. Um, and it's not a lot of sauce, but they did offer me a free sauce to go with it. I wanted to add to it. Somehow this is like 1100 calories, which I don't understand based on what's in it. I think there's a lot of rice underneath all of this, so maybe that's it. A bit more of that cinnamon bun, and it was softer on the inside. So maybe my dry comment wasn't super fair. Now I'm just waiting for my flight, I'm watching some movies, and I'm assuming my meal on the flight home is gonna be that vegan um, mixed vegetables with tomato sauce. If it's different, I'll let you know. Hey, it's Jeremy from the future. And in the future, I did have an extra meal on the plane. It was really nice. It was like this potato nookie, and there was this like tomato dip kind of thing, some hummus with pomegranate seeds. What else? Um, there was this dessert that looked like a cheesecake kind of thing, but it was made with coconut. It was delicious. That was one of the best airplane meals I've ever had, vegan or otherwise, so good job, Condor. They came around with another snack later on, but I opted out of it. I've already kind of had three meals today, so pretty good. All right, back to you, Jeremy, from the past. Thanks so much for joining this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my travel videos, please let me know in the comments below, and next time I travel, maybe I'll do another one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, do all the things. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite airport to travel in when you're eating vegan and plant-based. So that way I know and other people watching this know as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, do all those things, and YouTube wants you to watch this video next. Give it a shot. Bye.